Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Let me get something off my chest here about fans and fandoms, people who are passionate about things, just in general, on the whole. I've been seeing a lot of think pieces go up on the internet lately, a lot of videos go up on the internet lately talking about how Rick and Morty fans are horrible, Rick and Morty fans are this, Rick and Morty fans are that, Rick and Morty fans are entitled, Rick and Morty fans are annoying, Rick and Morty fans are complaining about how they don't got enough Szechuan sauce, oh no, a Rick and Morty fan uh, like spazzed out on the floor of a McDonald's pulling his shirt over his head like he's Cornholio from Beavis and Butthead and um... Like, he ran out the door, his friend was filming the whole thing even before he started acting like a jackass because he knew it was going to be a troll and it was just a joke, but we're going to sit here and act like it's a real person doing a real thing and not joking because it adds to our narrative that Rick and Morty fans are horrible. Oh, Rick and Morty fans are terrible. Here's the thing. As somebody, take, take it from me, somebody who has dealt with hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of fan bases of things in the music world, Okay, dealt with hundreds of fan bases because whenever I review an album, <laughs> chances are that fan base, for better or for worse, is going to hit me up in the comments. They're going to contact me on Twitter. They're going to let me know what they think of my opinion, positive or negative. Dealt with hundreds of fan bases. Fans generally across the board are annoying. Point blank period. This includes fan bases of bands and artists who I don't like. This includes fan bases of artists and bands who I do like. This includes my own fan base. I think one of the few and rare instances in which I regularly interact with the fan base of a thing, and that fan base haven't been, hasn't been particularly annoying, is maybe Ween fans. And I'm not even a huge Ween fan. You know, Ween is pretty good. Ween is cool. But their fans generally are, are pretty chill. Uh, but the thing is, when you get to the point when you love something so much, it becomes your world. No matter what that thing is, whether it's a cartoon show, whether it's a movie, whether it's a political movement, whether it's a, a musical artist, that puts you naturally in a position where you are not thinking logically, where you look at that thing like it's almost a god, and th that is going to lead to people being irrational, okay? And that is why fans across the board are annoying, no matter what that person is a fan of. Uh, Beyonce fans are annoying as fuck. Death Grips fans are annoying as fuck. There are Swans fans who are annoying as fuck. And, and you know, what's hilarious is most of these kids who like this Rick and Morty show, they're teenagers and college kids. They're people in their 30s who are literally acting like right now that Beyonce is the second fucking coming of Christ. Like, grow the fuck up. Okay, number one. Uh, number two, um, everybody who is writing think pieces about how horrible Rick and Morty fans are, <laughs> I guarantee you, I will put a thousand dollars on it, that every single one of these people had a point earlier in their teenage years where there was something in their life where they cared about it just as much as a lot of these kids care about Rick and Morty now. You know, maybe it was Aqua Teen Hunger Force, maybe it was some crappy new metal band, maybe it was some boy band, maybe it was some pop artist, maybe it was some anime, whatever it was. You've all had points in your teen years, in your tween years, or maybe even younger, when you were so obsessed with something that you would go crazy about it. You would go irrational over it. You would go insane about it. There are people who are full-grown adults and go insane for fucking My Little Pony right now. And I, I mean, you know, comma, fucking comma, My Little Pony, not literally fucking My Little Pony, okay? I'm not, that's not what I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> listen. Fan base, fans are annoying. It's what they do. They're proselytizing their religion. Um, <laughs> it's just the natural order. So, I mean, I don't know. It's like, honestly, like, because you can't acknowledge that natural fact of life, because you have to write all these bullshit pieces about how Rick and Morty fans are the worst, blah, 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 blah. Like, you're literally contributing to the problem, and you're literally more annoying than any Rick and Morty fan has ever been. So, to sum up, fans are annoying, on the whole, it's what they do, get over it, live your own life, and stop being a hater just because there's nothing in your life that matters to you as much as whatever this thing is that people are so obsessed with. And again, even if there is something in your life that currently, right now, you are so obsessed with that it 
is on the level of a Rick and Morty fan, then stop being so goddamn judgmental and let people just do what they do as long as they're not hurting anybody. Yeah, they might be a little annoying, but people are annoying. Get over it. Get over it. All right. You're the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Forever.